Welcome to Replicate Express Demo and How to Get Started Guide. In this video we will walk you through a few easy steps from installation to completing a replication task in Hadoop. The example here is applicable to most environments. However, there are many features of Replicate which are not covered in this video. We encourage you to spend some time getting used to the intuitive and straightforward user interface. There is plenty to explore here. If you require additional resources or documentation, please feel free to reach us at edutunity.com or replicateexpress at edutunity.com. The first step in getting started with Edutunity Replicate Express is the installation. In the package you received from us when you registered for Replicate Express, you'll find a zip file containing the Windows executable file for Replicate. Double click on that. This will start the installation process. Here we accept all the default settings and will also accept the license agreement. Once the installation is completed you will see the following screen. Click on the Windows Start to get a Tunity Replicate program entry. Clicking on a Tunity Replicate console will open your browser to the Replicate UI. Here you will find a new task button on the upper left hand corner. This will bring up a window where you can name your new task and choose to do a full load or to do incremental replication also referred to as change data capture. For our example we pick the full load only by unpicking the apply changes button. The next screen will take you to Design Console, which allows you to add your source and target databases. Identify the table selected, modify the task settings, and highlight additional features. Before we get, before we get to define our source and targets, let's have a quick look at the Hadoop environment. You should have the IP address where your name node is located. Please refer to your Hadoop distributions guidelines on where to find this information. In my case, the Hadoop cluster is accessible at the following IP address, which I have already typed into my browser's new tab. Here, the port 8000 brings up the Hadoop management console where I can see the name of running Hive databases. Here we will look at the H catalog to see list of available databases. In our example, the name of the database is default. Back to the replicate design console. We will use the manage database button to define our source and targets. Click on this will bring up a window where you can define your source and targets. Click on Add Database to tell Replicate how to access these databases. You are given a field to name the database, then define its role as a target or source. You're given a pull down to choose the type of database. Replicate will automatically find the names of available databases. You can test and see if the connection is successful by clicking on the test button. Now we need to define our Hadoop target. The steps are similar to choosing a source. Once you choose Hadoop as your target, you are given additional fields to fill out.
Here we enter the name node's IP address, the one we used earlier to access the Edge catalog. As you recall, the username for this Hadoop cluster was HU. We enter it. Then we enter the target directory in HDFS setting. For Hive access, clicking on the Hive database name pull-down will bring up the database we saw in the previous step with H catalog database. Once we're finished with defining all the Hadoop parameters, we we'll click on the test button and our connection was successful. Once we are finished with defining our source and target databases, we'll get back to our design console. Here you will find the names of the source and target databases already populated. You can drag or click on the names to choose the target and the source. The next step is to select the tables you want rep replicate to replicate from your source database. Clicking table selection will bring up a window where you will see the schemas in a drop-down fashion. We pick the HR schema here and replicate will show you the list of tables available. By highlighting and clicking on add we have selected the tables we want replicated. We press OK. Once we've selected our tables, define our sources and our target, we are ready to replicate. To get replication started, click on Run on the upper left hand corner. The windows will pop up to make sure you're ready to execute. Press OK. Next, Replicate will take you to a monitor console. Here, we'll display the progress of your replication task. You'll find bars that indicate tasks that are completed or are in progress, queued or errored. The left bar shows percentage of task completed. You can view the throughput in records processed as well as specific details of tables being replicated. Once the task is completed, you can go back to your Hadoop environment and see how the tables were replicated. You can browse the data and see all the records were replicated over with ease and completely. Please let us know what you think of Replicate. Thank you for your interest in Attunity and our products. We look forward to working with you on your next upcoming projects.